pleasant day to everyone. This is Sir Rafi Nugas. And for today's video lesson, we're going to deal with Music Break 9, Quarter 1, Western Classical Music. And it's all about medieval, renaissance, and baroque era of music. For today's learning objectives, we're going to determine the following characteristics of medieval, renaissance, and baroque era of music. Number two, explain the performance practice including the setting, composition, role of composers, performers, and audience of medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. And last, identify known composers of medieval, renaissance, and baroque era of music. Let's start with the medieval era of music from, 70, from 700 to 1400. Medieval era, it is known as the Middle Ages of Dark or Dark Ages that started with the fall of the Roman Empire. Middle Ages, that is the period in European history from the collapse of Roman civilization in the 5th century CE to the period of Renaissance. Variously interpreted as beginning in the 13th, 14th, or 15th century, depending on the region of Europe and other factors. There are two types of music during the medieval era. The first one is the Gregorian chant and the troubadour. The Gregorian chants. It is a central tradition of Western plain chant it's also a form of monophonic, an accompanied sacred song of the Western Roman Catholic Church. This chant was probably named after Pope Gregory the Great, when Charlemagne became Holy Roman Emperor. He made everyone in Europe to use this Gregorian chant. Now, what are the characteristics of the Gregorian chants? First, it is monophonic, consisting of a single musical line without accompaniment. It is also free in terms of meter. There is no regular repeating rhythm. Usually, based on Latin liturgy and last use of neum notation. Neums. A neum is the basic element of Western and Eastern system of musical notation prior to the invention of five-line staff notation. It is the earliest neums were inflictive marks that indicated the general shape but not necessarily the exact notes or rhythms to be sung. Did you know that during the later part of the medieval period, secular music, which was not bound by Catholic traditions, emerged? Most of these songs were performed across Europe by groups of musicians called troubadours. Characteristics of troubadour music It is usually monophonic, but sometimes with improvised accompaniment. Tells of chivalry and court love, or mostly, it's all about love. Troubadour music also originated in France. That's why it is written in French language. We have no composer in medieval era. We have Edim de la Halle. Edim de la Halle, also known as Edim Liboso, is the oldest secular composer, was a French-born 
Kruber, Owit, and Muskishan. His known works are Le Chou de Rubin et de Mario and La Chanson de Roy de Cécile. Renaissance Era of Music 1400-1600 Renaissance Era Renaissance come from the word renaitre, which means revert, revival, and rediscovery. During this era, music became as entertainment and activity for amateurs and the educated. Influence of the religious chant became to decline as the new music genre arose. Golden Age of a cappella, choral music. Characteristic of Renaissance music is mostly polyphonic. Imitation among the voices is common. Use of word painting in text and music. Melodic lines move in a flowing manner. Melodies are easier to perform because these move along a scale with a few large lips. There are two types of vocal music during Rena Renaissance era. We have the mass and the madrigal. Mass is a form of sacred musical composition that sets texts of the Eucharistic liturgy into music. Characteristics of mass is polyphonic, maybe song a cappella or with orchestral accompaniment. Text may be syllabic. We say syllabic, one note set to each syllable. Pneumatic, few notes set to one syllable. Or melismatic, many notes to one syllable. There are five main sections of Mass. First, we have the carry, the Lord of Mercy, the only Greek. Second is Gloria, glory to God in the highest. Third is Credo, I believe in one God. Four is Sanctus and Benedictus, holy, holy, and blessed is He. And last is Agnus Dei, the Lamb of God. Madrigal. Madrigal is the most important secular music during Renaissance period. It's written and expressed in a poetic text and sung during partly social gathering. The characteristics of the madrigal vocal is polyphonic, sung in a cappella, through composed, and frequently in, in three to six voices. Some of the famous composers of Renaissance period First, we have Giovanni Milugi Palestrina, 1525 to 1594, the greatest master of Roman Catholic Church music. Majority of his compositions are sacred music. Palestrina's folk, Marcellitus, mass is held up as the perfect example of counter-reformation style. His first book, Masses, became popular and was greatly appreciated by Pope Julius III. Another composer in the Renaissance era is Thomas Morley, 1557-1602. Thomas Morley was a singer in the local cathedral and became master of choristers. The famous composer of secular music. He also received his bachelor's degree in Oxford and became an organist at St. Paul's in London. His Musica Transla Transalpina, a collection of Italian madrigals, was published by Nicholas Young that made significant contribution to the history of music. Baroque Era of Music, 
Baroque era. It is derived from the Portuguese word baroco, which means pair of irregular shape. During this time, the arts highlighted grandiose and elaborate ornamentations. Characteristics of Baroque music Melodies sound elaborate and ornamental. Melodies are not easy to sing or remember. Primarily, contrapuntal texture with some homophony. Dynamic contrast. Alternation between loud and soft. Orchestra consists of strings and basso continuo. Harpsichord and organ are the keyboard instruments that are commonly used. There are some musical genre during Baroque era. We have concerto, choral, concerto grosso, fugue, and oratorio. Concerto, a form of orchestral music that employs a solo instrument accompanied by an orchestra. Next, we have Concerto Grosso. Concerto Grosso is a form of orchestral music during the Baroque period wherein the music is between a small group of solo instruments called concertino and the whole orchestra called tutti. Fugue is a contrapuntal piece developed mainly by imitative counterpoint usually written in three or four parts with a main theme called subject. Oratorio. Oratorio is a large-scale musical composition for orchestra and voices that incorporates narratives on religious themes. And last, we have choral. Choral is a musical composition that resembles a harmonized version of hymnal tunes of the Protestant Church during the Baroque era. We have some famous composers of the Baroque era. First, we have Johann Sebastian Bach. 1685 to 1750. Johann Sebastian Bach came from a family of musicians. He was taught to play violin by his father, but became an orphan at the age of 10. Was also known for his compositions for organ, orchestra, and oratorio. His famous works are Brandenburg Concertos, Concerto Grosso, Mass in D Minor, Catata 208 and 211, Fugue and G Minor, Works for Clavichord and Harpsichord. Next composer, we have Antonio Lucio Vivaldi, 1678 to 1741. His nickname is The Red Priest. He was recognized as Italian Baroque composer, Catholic priest, and a virtuoso violinist. Known mainly for composing instrumental concerto, especially for violin, as well as sacred choral works, and over 40. Well known for giving the strings a major role in his compositions. His works are The Poor Season, this composition is a series of four violin concerti depicting each of the seasons spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And last, we have George Friedrich Handel, 1685 to 1759. At the age of seven, he gained access to a church organ and started to play. Remembered for his operas and oratorios, and became England's favorite composer during his time. 
he lost his eyesight in 1753, and when he conducted his oratorio Samson, a few in the audience were unaware that he had lost his eyesight. His known composition, Messiah, was the famous creation and very well-known Hallelujah Chorus is part of Handel Messiah composition. And those are the following Western classical music that deals with medieval era, Renaissance, and Baroque era of music. Hope that you learn something about those musical era. And thank you for listening.